Did you know that Pennsylvania has 211 of the remaining 840 covered bridges in the United States, making it the covered bridge capital of the world? We have one of these bridges right in our own backyard. The Crytersville Covered Bridge, located in Allen Township, Pennsylvania, was built in 1839. At 172 years old, the Crytersville Covered Bridge is one of the oldest bridges in Pennsylvania, the oldest in the Lehigh Valley, and quite unfortunately, Northampton County's last remaining covered bridge. All other Northampton County covered bridges were either destroyed by the forces of nature or replaced in the name of progress. The Crytersville Covered Bridge is loved for its great history and serene setting. From the moment you enter the Cobblestone Drive at the entrance of the historic Crytersville Covered Bridge, you sense the peace and tranquility of this country place. Nearby is the Covered Bridge Gazebo, nestled near the trees and gently flowing Hockendocker Creek. Over its lifetime, the bridge had many names, including Hummel's Bridge, Cook's Bridge, and Salt's Bridge. These were the names of the families which operated the grist mill next to the bridge. The covered bridge and mill were integral parts of local commerce throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. Since the 1960s, the Crytersville Covered Bridge took its name from the nearby village of Crytersville. In modern times, the locals used the term KCB as a shorthand term for the Crytersville Covered Bridge. The KCB was one of 1,528 covered bridges built in Pennsylvania between 1805 and 1885. It is 116 feet long and was created with the Burr Trust design. Theodore Burr's contribution to the popularity of covered bridges was his all-important 1804 design, a curved truss support, the arch, which was coupled with a multiple king post design. The engineering innovation of the arch of the Burr Truss provided a stronger support than the King Post Truss and therefore allowed a longer span to be built. Much longer. Now, bridges could exceed a 100 foot span, which is exactly what the KCB builders needed. The 116 foot long KCB used Burr's innovative design as did the other six Lehigh Valley covered bridges, all of which are still standing. 172 years have proven Mr. Burr was right. How many modern bridges do you think will still be standing 172 years from now? For practical purposes, the primary reason for covering a bridge was the preservation of the bridge's superstructure, as well as the roadway's decking. The deck planks, nicked by the iron shoes of the horses, had to be protected from their elements. Water had to be kept out of the joints to prevent damage from alternate freezing and thawing. Another benefit was the added weight strength in the structure. Horses might balk at a glintering water, but they were easily persuaded to cross a bridge that resembled a barn. The roof also kept the hot sun from drying and shrinking the wood, which caused loosening of the joints. Covered bridges also provided shelter to travelers in the inclement weather. Neighborhood cattle herds often spent rainy nights huddled in the bridges. Every December, the association hosts a tree lighting ceremony and caroling at the bridge. Fueled by hot chocolate and cookies, warmed by fire pits, and lit by scores of candles, the finale of the evening is a surprise visitor, Santa Claus. The association also hosts the Crytersville Covered Bridge Festival held biannually, usually over the first weekend in June after Memorial Day. The festival is two days of fun for both kids and adults alike and contains many fun activities. There is an entire children's area, which includes pony rides and trout fishing. For history buffs, there is a fascinating historic trolley tour of the area. There is no shortage of food either. The pig roast is delicious and desserts abound. Homemade strawberry shortcake and homemade pie. The festival closes with an ever popular and wild duck race. Over the last 12 years, the association also hosted a 5K race. By popular demand, beginning on June 4, 2011, the association will also be adding a challenge 10K race to the mix. Runners and walkers alike love the 5K. The one mile hill on the first half is a challenge, but at the top of the hill you get to see Zion Old Stone Church, the oldest church in Allen Township and one of the oldest in Northampton County. As you run and or walk downhill, the rest of your way your spirits will soar. You'll pass over two historic bridges on the return trip. Old Stone Bridge looks like something out of the mystical old times and we think gnomes reside there under. The second bridge is the KCB. You'll probably feel a little more tired the second time through, but exhilarated at the finish. The 10K covers much of the same territory as the 5K, but it adds a fantastic view of Blue Mountain at the apex of the run. 
with a few more crossings of the meandering Hakandaku Creek and some truly picturesque rural farmland, barns, pastures, and horse farms, it's like running through a calendar photo. One last short hill, the Hill of Tears, at around the 4.5 mile mark is what earns the 10K, the designation challenge, but then it's just a short kick to the finish. Visit our website, www.CritersvilleCoveredBridge.org, to keep up with events and happenings at the KCB. Details about the race and links to the race maps can be found at our online registration website, www.Active.com. Challenge yourself on June 4th. See you at the KCB Challenge.